G'day team, Petty checking in with another unboxing. Um, this time we've got the Canto TUK, um, so the box. Um, this time it's a bit more of a plastic one, plastic coated kind of cardboard. I think cause they're a fair bit heavier, and this box is pretty massive compared to the other Cantos. So, um, the box has got some product description on it. That circle looks pretty cool. It's a bit banged up from the postage. Um, what have we got under the bottom? Um, the colour. Some barcode stuff. Sweet. Alright, let's crack it open and have a bit of a look. It's definitely got a bit of weight in it, this one. Uh, so from the top we've got um, just some packing foam. Easy. Doesn't have that cool in a flap like the other ones for presentation. Um, these cables definitely look like they've been out of the box before. So I reckon that's definitely been opened. Anyways, what have we got? Yeah, you can see that that's Looks like it's been cooled up to not factory. So we got, uh, looks like a PC, PC connection cable. It's got like a super white gloss finish. This looks like um, gold kind of coating. So that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, nice. Um, some Canto logo on it. Yep. That's sweet. It's a really thick cable. Then you've got a USB-A ending with that gold plating coating. Sweet. And uh, then it looks like we've got the speaker leads to connect speaker speaker. Okay, cool. So these ones here are a banana plug. So we've got some heat shrink with Canto branding on it. It's like a gold finish as well too. Banana plug. That's pretty cool. The other ones just came with pretty standard speaker wire with just um, the ends of the wire bed and tinned with some solder. So then we've got, oop, looks like we've got um, another cable down there. Okay, we've got remote control. So that's hard plastic with like a matte white plastic there. Just like pretty subtle Kanto logo there. Um, it's definitely got some fingerprints. I think just some light scratching on that too, whatever. Um, two AA Energizer batteries. So that's the remote for the tuck compared to the standard Kanto remote. Pretty similar size. This one's got more of an IR uh, lens rather than just a hole with the actual LED or bulb, whatever you call that, don't know. 
Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, then we've got three and a half mil um, audio cable jack, which then terminates to splitter in the cable. And then RCA. They got the Kanto branding on them as well. Um, that cool gold plating. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it's in a gloss, gloss white finish. The red and your white markings for the channels. And then we've got the actual speakers. So these are in that kind of soft gloss style wrap. We've got one, that one there's a bit lighter, so I reckon that's the slave or whatever you call that. Oh no, this one here is actually lighter. That same. Uh, then we've got in the box is just that packing foam. So that's the box. Right, hey, let's have a look at these speakers. I've been pretty excited to see these ones, um, especially after having the other Canto speakers, which I've had some um, pretty mixed results with. Got some, um, like some cord tie on the bottom just to pull that in. That's pretty cool. Righto, well that's um, the same matte black finish as um, the YU6 that I've got. Um, same back plate, not too sure if that's a metal, it's like a matte finish. Slight texture, you got your speaker ins, positive, negative, very good. So it's um, yeah, really nice finish, it is a little bit fingerprinty but that's awesome once you put them down. Pretty good. So on the bottom we've got these rubber feet sticker things and you've got that actual um, screw into the speaker for stands and whatnot. So yes that's pretty sweet. Let's have a look at this rubber, this grill. Um, I believe these are magnet. Yep, so they come off super easy. Um, that's your grill, just looks like pretty standard speaker cloth. Got some webbing on the back and there's your magnets at each corner. It's um, pretty thin, it's got a slight flex to it. That's pretty cool. And then the actual front. So we've got the woofer. That looks really cool actually. Um, that metal driver I think is Ali. Um, it's got a really nice finish to it, slightly different to the actual box and then that's in not AMD, AMR, AMT, whatever style Twitter. I've never heard one of those, so I'm pretty excited. YouTube reviews say so it's pretty cool. That style Twitter. Then we've got the second speaker, which will have the amp and the power and whatnot in it. So this one is heavier. Same again, we've just got this cloth bag with cord tie off. So I reckon, yeah, that's definitely been. Definitely been opened before, but um, whatever. Bit of a bird's nest here. Are we getting there? Okay. So just undo the drawstring for the bag. And then off with that one. So consistent look again too. So we've got um, some inputs there for headphone. That looks like the IR receiver. And then we've got these different indicator lights. Uh, and then that volume or selector knob. It's got some, um, like some knurling on it, around it. Same fit finish. Oh, then we've got the back with the port. Same kind of backing plate there too. And it's got all your connections there. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Serial number, which I didn't know they had until um, I'm going through the process of 
going through the warranty claim on the YU4s, which I've got, which have come with a bloody speaker crackle. Um, I'll pop that video up on YouTube, and it sounds like there's some other YouTube users who've had the same issue. So there's your serial number on the back. Take the grill off that one. So that's what it looks like. Without the speaker grill. So that's pretty cool. So I'll just show you as well. So each of that can take a line up side by side. So you've got the tuck. And then we've got, we've got the YE6. And then also the YE4. I think um, this walnut would definitely be my pick. These ones here are on mega discount, so I grabbed those uh, in the black. So there's not much size difference between the tuck and the YE6. Massive size difference with the four. Um, the difference between the fours and the sixes is massive as far as sound goes. These ones here will easily fill, I'd say, a pretty medium to small, large size room. These ones here are good, super detail in both of them. That one definitely needs the sub, which I bought as well, the sub eight. These ones here, I think if you can um, pay the extra coin, I'd definitely recommend these. And if you've got the room, these ones here are definitely, I guess, a better size on a computer computer desk whatever and with them being you know so close to your head you know you're sitting in front of a computer these ones here are definitely loud enough for that but if you want to use them for like sound bar with a tv in a big room i'd definitely go for the sixes so that's them side by side yeah so and they look pretty sweet i definitely like the look of those speakers it's got that kind of clean cool minimalist kind of look um, the tucks are definitely just slightly bigger. Yeah. And then as far as the depth goes. That's the depth. And then the back of them. Yeah, right. Well, I'm um, super excited to give those a go, team. And, um, yeah, I look forward to um, putting up my results. A little bit disappointed with those YU4s and Canto's responses being, um, I wouldn't say the best, but um, we'll get there. And, um, yeah, all good. Righto, team. Well, that's Petey checking in with um, the Canto range. And I hope you have an awesome day. See you, team.